Stay with us. Coming up, we head into the CTV kitchen. We're going to talk about chocolate for Valentine's. We're also going to talk about a business success story. They're intertwined. You'll find out more in a moment. Valentine's Day. Sure, you could make a card or something like that for your loved one, but what if you made them chocolates? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't you think? Uh, the owner of a new store in uh, our area, Kirsten Roos of Kirsten's Chocolates, joining us here. How are you? Good, thank you. That's good. Congratulations on the new store and everything, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about the business in a bit, but uh, sure. uh, people can do this without messing it up at home? Well, it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky, yeah, but little uh, tricky. maybe after this segment's done, they'll have a better idea how to do exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, we brought in a few things here. What do, you want to, what do you want to do? Well, first of all, I'd like to show people how to uh, temper some chocolate. Temper so, chocolate? Yes. Oh, you're using um, the, the official jargon. Yes, Which indeed. means what? Just melting it? Uh, melting it and getting it to a certain temperature and then cooling it down so that it's, uh, you can work with it. Okay. So, chocolate should be really shiny. Uh, it should, do you know sometimes you see those streaks, those gray streaks on chocolate? Mm -hmm. That uh, means that it's out of temper. Okay. So, so it's got a bad temper. Exactly. We can call it that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you do? How do you do that? All right. Well, I'll show you. There's, a, there's several methods. This mm -hmm. is one of them. What you would do is you take a marble slab like this. Usually it's bigger. This is just for demonstration purposes. You pour oh, about... Oh, we're totally going to go over the edge, aren't we? You pour about, um, well, nope, three perfect. quarters. Okay of it and then you cool it down. So what you would do is you take uh, this tool that you can find at Home Hardware. So it's like mudden. So all you, all you drywallers and tapers out there, it's just <laughs> the same thing. And then you kind of, you spread it out to cool it and then you bring it back into the center of the, something like this. Uh, it really is an art to working with chocolate though, is it not? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, art and science. Mm -hmm. um, so you do that a few times. Then once it's cooled down to a certain temperature, what I use is, um, I'm getting really messy here, <laughs> That's right. a digital thermometer. Yeah. So it's still quite high. It's at 108. So actually it was quite high to begin with. Well, that's kind of cool that you didn't even have to put it in there. It just picks it up. Yeah. Big toy. A little laser there. Okay. And then once it's cooled, what you do is you add it to the warm chocolate. So you just kind of, oops, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay. Slide and over. then we'll just add that in there. And so why are you mixing warm and cold? Or well, cool? that's, that's how you get the chocolate in temper. Oh, and I see. Okay. Uh, I've gotten quite messy <laughs> here. <laughs> now, you, you were actually raised in Germany, were you not? Where, is that yeah, you I was, uh, I was born there until I was seven years old. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then we moved, my family moved to Canada when I was uh, seven, yes. Mm. Now, were there any secrets that came back from uh, Germany? I don't know how much you'd remember well, when you were seven. But. Yeah, I remember quite a bit, and I actually really remember the chocolate. <laughs> and <laughs> so, it was, I remember it being really good, so. So you wanted to recreate that once you got here? Basically, yeah. You started online? You started your, I did your start online? On, I did some chocolate making when I was living in New York for a farmer's market, mm. and then I moved back to Edmonton, and uh, after that, uh, I did some online work just to get some really high quality chocolates in yeah. for people to try in Edmonton that weren't available before. And cool. so, um, okay, where are we at? All right. You put that okay, back. So we let's may say or may it's not tempered. be able to, like yeah. the time that we have uh, with less right. than five minutes. Yeah. Obviously, you're not going to be able to get things too much. So, so no. where would we be ending up? Uh, okay, after? once it's in temper. So this was one messy way. You yeah. can also do a an easier way, I think, and that's uh, melting the chocolate and then adding cold chocolate oh, okay, and then sure. bringing it to a certain temperature, which is for dark chocolate around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm. Okay, you're doing workshops as well, though, to help yeah. people through it all. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, so you'll be doing that through the store. Yeah. Uh, okay, what, what do you got over there? What's uh, the final products you got hidden over yeah, there? This is, uh, so what Not that what I'm just I... leaning directly toward <laughs> the finished product or anything. So, what you would do, you might pour some onto, let's say, parchment. Okay. And um, then you would spread that out. And this is to make like a bark. So like you'd spread it out like that, make it nice and thin. Mm -hmm. And then you would add, excuse me, maybe some cocoa nibs. Sure. Which are uh, the raw cocoa bean. And then, or maybe some, these are candied oranges. Orange and chocolate are a really nice combination. Sure. And then you just let, you, would you put that in the fridge to cool yeah, off? You or can, does it just... Yeah, you can leave it outside or if you want to speed up the process, just put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes or okay. so. And, and then you break it up? And then, yeah, break it up. And oh, it's very important when it's in temper, it has this nice, like a snap. Yeah. It was a little bit difficult to hear, but. Oh, I hear And um, this is the final product. Cool. 
And in bar form, it looks like this. <laughs> yeah. you, love the, you love playing with your chocolate, don't you? Yes, I do. Very cool. Uh, if you want any more information on Kirsten's chocolates, you can call 990-0011. You can also go online to kirstenschocolates.com to get some more information. So happy Valentine's Day. You're going to be busy for a little while, I think. I think, hope so. Have fun. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> nice Thank to see you. you.